Hi, Mr. Pelagonian, back again with another video. Today I'm going to look at my young plants, my young regals that have come through the winter, and also some of the seedlings that I've recently sown, my zonal pelagoniums, are ready to bloom later in the summer. So let's have a look. Now, something that I've had a, an immense amount of success with, really, are my regal seedlings. Now, you may remember that last year I did a, a set of regal seedlings uh, from a plant called Ritchie. I did uh, cross-pollinate them with a, a number of uh, regals, uh, some, some of, from my own uh, raisings over the years. Uh, but I, I never exclude bees from my glass house, so only in the lead up prior to show, that's a separate issue. But um, uh, my regal, my young regals are, are doing very well, they're growing on very fast, and I'm hopeful that I, I will probably get some bloom on them, certainly by the end of April. Um, so if we have a little bit of a look at some of them, um, there is actually quite a diverse range of, uh, of growth pattern on them. Um, you can see here, for instance, this one's quite open. Uh, it has got some breaks coming at the base. Um, that one is fading off. But that one was crossed with a, a plant of mine that was red at the base. Uh, had a sort of more or less a, a coloured uh, base red to it. Um, if I've got one, I will, I will just dash through a, a, cop, um, a picture of the plant that I've got at it. But you can begin to see the differences in the growth pattern. This has been crossed, and I know this one was crossed with Zofia Pope, uh, and this has got really good distribution of, um, of side shoots coming out of the base. Uh, now, obviously, young plants like this that I want to see the flower, it's primarily important to get the flower from, there's no such thing as stopping or anything like that. We're not doing any stopping uh, because all we want to do is get the, 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 seed, the seed plant here to grow up and flower right as, as early as possible. Um, regals I do tend to take um, in the summer, sow them in the late summer to grow them through the winter. I find that you get a good example then of getting the bloom uh, in the in the er in the sort of relatively early summer, late spring. But zonals I actually treat in a different way. With my zonal seedings, uh, seedlings I actually sow them now. I've actually I've I just said in another video there that I, I just sow them. Um, right about now, I've got them on window seals. And here they are, isn't it? A, a, a good tray of uh, seedlings. Now, there are a number of people out there, um, you may know some of the other prominent video uh, bloggers for Pelagoniums. There are, they do use methods such as um, putting them in... Um, little trays with uh, kitchen roll and things like that to germinate them. I've never been like that. I just sit my uh, seeds in, a, in, in water for a couple of days. Uh, I do give them a little bit of scrape at the top uh, and then I, I just sow them. I sow them in these, um, these multi-plug uh, trays. They're quite small, they're not very big. Uh, what are they, sort of just over an inch across, maybe inch across each one, so they're an inch square. Um, and I find that they, they germinate quite quickly. But, but we can really pick up here the diversity of the growth. That one's going to be really quite tall. Um, we'll have to see what the flower's like. And that, a good number of these will be discarded. Now that one, I know, because I can tell by the my writing on the back of it, was crossed with Elsie Taylor, one of my uh, regals, a nice sort of vein, quite deep purple. And I can tell that that's got a deeper green um, bloom, uh, sorry, leaf. 
has got a deeper green leaf, and I can already tell that that has got some background. So it's going to be interesting to see, because Ritchie, which is the parent plant, is a white base with a sort of pink blotch through the middle of each of the petals. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. That's why you, with a whitish uh, flower, you know more or less what the starting point is. This one's broken very well. It's got a split stem, two strong stems coming out and bushing quite nicely. There's another big one. That was crossed with the, with the red, this red plant that I, I produced myself, which actually was a, from a plant called Magnum, which is a very strong growing regal. Here's a darker leaf uh, one going on. That's doing very well. This one looks a little bit scant because I cut a lot of the leaves off because it's a huge leaf plant. But an, an interesting one was this one over here. I, I got to it sort of last here, this, this little review. This was actually crossed with Elsie Taylor. Um, but this is very densely compact. Uh, and it's got sort of very sort of um, light, but a very dense leaf. Almost sort of scented. I mean, there is no scent on it. So, uh, I mean, there's an outside chance that it could be crossed with a, a scented variety, but I very much doubt it. But it'd be interesting to see what the bloom is like on that one. Uh, and likewise, this one over here, this, is, this has got a lot of potential when you're seeing a lot of dense growth, lots of good side shoots coming through and out. Uh, and that's the sort of plant that has potential. So be interesting to see how that one ends up being. This is another one as well, a lot of side shoot because we compare it with this one, which has just got literally a single stem coming right up. Um, that is another cross with the, the, the red uh, magnum descendant that I've got. Um, and that is showing all the characteristics of being a very, very strong growing plant. Uh, that uh, boosts right up. Now this plant was crossed with, if I can find the label on it, which I can't. Where's the label on that? Oh, there it is. There we cross on the back. You say lilac Elaine. Yeah, I, I tried. So I wouldn't be surprised if that succeeded because. That is very much a nice bushy circle, lots of side shoots coming out. So that's got good potential. So it just goes to show, um, you know, they are, there they are all in their uh, little block. Must have about 20, four, eight, 12, 16. I've got about 24, I would say, that have come through. Get one or two losses over the winter, ones that grow very slowly, ones that may show a little bit of rot, they all get chucked out. These are the strongest, about 24, 25, that have uh, come through. And there, there's a good wealth of difference with them as well. So um, I'm hopeful that I may be able to get something uh, interesting from those. Okay, well that's it for this video. I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. In the meantime, good growing. Don't forget, if you like what you see uh, and you don't already subscribe to the channel, click the little uh, subscribe button below. Give a thumbs up as well to the video. And I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.